Hello everyone, um, today I've got a quick video. Uh, I bought this Scarlet uh, 18i6 off eBay quite a while ago uh, by Focusrite and the problem with it is that the headphone jack which is at the front, the it crackles and I wasn't entirely sure why. Um, for ages I just left it and then not long ago I opened it up to see how difficult it would be to replace the socket and this is the breakout board that the socket is on. I couldn't find a replacement socket myself so I emailed uh, Focusrite and they actually sent a new breakout board which is what this is uh, with a socket in. Um, so I'm hoping that might solve my problem and that was very good of them to do that. They did it for free which is, uh, which is nice. Um, they said they had a bunch of these going spare. They may not be used on current mod models, in which case uh, no great loss to send them out to me. So let's have a, let's have a look. Um, it's always nice when you can repair something because even though this is pretty old as far as audio interfaces go, they don't even make this model anymore. I think it's now a 18i8 or a 16i8. Um, but it's good to be able to repair this kind of thing because otherwise there's nothing wrong with it and it'd be a shame to have to throw it away. So there's a few screws on it, there's three on the top and then two on each side to get into it. Um, which is relatively accessible really, a lot of this stuff varies and how easy it is to open it up. These are quite nice because they're metal. So metal and screws means there's no kind of like fragile bits of plastic to unclip or well break clips off which is what tends to happen. Um, so it's relatively easy to service. If I remember the breakout board is just a couple more screws to get it out. Um, which is obviously no great hardship, so that just comes off. Oops. And then it's two screws down here. Of course this might not be the reason for the crackle. I think it is, but obviously I don't know for sure. Let's pull that one out. There we go. So there's the old one, obviously it doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it, but um, the socket could be quite worn. Or just have some like something in there that I can't get out. I did try and clean it, but it didn't make any difference. So I'll pop the new one in. I use this with a bunch of Volker synths, which are kind of good fun. Um, so I have each one on a channel because it has, I think it's at least four channels on the back, if not six actually. Um, and I have four, four of the Volkers, which I might do a video about at some point. Let's check I've got that the right way around. Put that back in. So of course it's possible, try the best way to route that. Seems to be alright. 
it's possible that there's something else wrong with this board. I mean, I can't see any evidence that any of the capacitors are faulty. Um, and they look like pretty decent capacitors in the main. Um, and everything else looks well seated. So that's probably, with a bit of luck, solved my problem. I'm going to pop the lid back on. That kind of fix anyone could do. Um, doesn't require any particularly special skill or special tools. Just a screwdriver and a well, just a screwdriver, really. Um, I would have been quite happy to just solder a new plug on if I could have got one, but um, since they had the whole breakout board, there's no reason to do that. So it's a bit of a thumbs up for Focusrite really, that would, in future, that would encourage me to buy more of their stuff. Because obviously it's a good chance you'll be able to get it repaired, even sometime after they stopped selling it. And that's not always the case. In fact, that's pretty rare these days, to be honest. Most things, people expect you to buy a new one after a year or two, once it's gone out of warranty. Obviously I can't speak for other audio interfaces, I could be wrong. They might all be relatively serviceable. If this doesn't solve the problem, I might look into the connectors on the board around where this plugs in and any capacitors around there to see if there's anything obviously wrong. Um, capacitors are easy to fix, anything beyond that it's probably not worth it or impossible. The other thing to check actually is the power supply. So it could be that the power supply has got a bit old and uh, a new power supply would potentially fix any problems as well. So there we go. New connector, ready to roll. And uh, well, I'll give it a try and I'll report back my success. Okay, thanks very much and I will see you in the next podcast.